Welcome to the Pro Backend Developer course, a massive powerhouse of the course in itself. The goal of this course is really simple. I want you to be prepared so that you can make and push code to the production which can be consumed by any web or mobile application. Not only that, if further request comes from the front-end developer or your manager or your client, you can actually plan the feature, architect it, as well as put it into the most scalable manner and again push it to the production. Designing a pro backend which can be consumed on mobile or web and adding more features in a most scalable way, that is all what we are going to learn in this course. In case you are wondering who am I? Hey there everyone, Hitesh here and I'll be your instructor for this course. I will guide you through the entirety of this course and I've been writing code for a decade now, a little bit more than that. I'm also known for my teaching skills. I can turn any topic into the most easiest manner. You're going to absolutely thoroughly enjoy the flow of this course and will understand the nitty gritty and the details that I've mentioned in this course. So the biggest of all question is, what is included in this course? It is a lot, so let me walk you through. I know that a lot of you are afraid of pushing the code into production, whether it's Heroku, DigitalOcean, or AWS, anything at all, you're a little bit afraid. So after collecting our tools and installing the software in the section one, in the section two, we're gonna directly head on into the production stage. We will write the basic code and we'll learn how to push it into the production and also we'll see what are the common mistakes that are being done. We will also learn how to debug in the production itself and we'll, we'll make our application absolutely ready. Once we are done and gone through with the basic of productions, then it's time to do something which nobody likes, which is writing documentation. Nobody loves it, but it is one of your role and one of your job to write a documentation which is absolutely amazing so that your front end team can actually understand what you're writing. So in the section three, I'll walk you through that how to write a production grade documentation using Swagger. And you will be able to understand that what it takes to have a proper documentation, how to write it, all the feature components and everything that is required in your job. Moving ahead in the section four, we're going to learn about authentication, how to take a user and store it into our database. Furthermore, how to work through with the tokens, sessions, cookies. We will also understand a whole lot about authentication and authorizing of the features, how from the back end we can protect some of the routes. Furthermore, we are going to understand that how you can make a backend authorization so that it's scalable also. We will understand about the tokens, cookies, session, we'll understand the difference between authorizing a mobile application versus onto a web application, difference between cookies, sessions, we'll discuss about the flow of how a forgot password works, how to authorize a user, how to check and verify the emails and a whole lot of other concepts. After that, in section five, we're going to understand about the forms and images. What is the difference between multiple types of requests, get request, post request, put request, and a bunch of other things. What happens when the data comes up as a JSON or a URL encoded form or just a form data or maybe a multi-part form request. Further down the road, we will also understand that why so many students face problems while uploading the files and images and what you can do to make sure that you take this file, put it onto your server or use some third party cloud storage to push the files or images there. In section six, we are going to understand about the process of handling the payment gateways. We're going to understand the theory about it as well as we'll implement a Razor Pay integration. We will use Razor Pay, but this will act as a basic playground to understand pretty much every payment gateway that is out there. Once we have understood this much of the details, now we are absolutely ready to take down a massive application. From section seven to 14, we are going to just build one single application, which will help you to understand all the component that there is to build a most robust and scalable e-commerce application. We'll understand how to design multiple role-based access, admin, manager, user, and possibly more roles. Implementing forgot passwords, how to send mails, how to find all the mail clients, and a whole lot of other things. Designing JWT tokens, forgot password tokens, designing features like filter, search, and pagination, and a whole lot more is going to be covered during these sections. Not only that, in this section, we are going to understand that if more request comes in for the feature enhancement, how we can customize models based on that, how we can provide more features on that. Further down the road, we are going to implement Razorpay as well as Stripe and we'll understand how to process them simultaneously. 
This is already enough of a big and massive application, but that's not all about it. In section 15, we are going to talk about OAuth of the application. We'll understand what is the difference between the regular authentication as well as these OAuth applications. We'll go through with the hands-on uh, development about the Google login and we'll understand what it takes to have these OAuth application. Once you understand this concept, you will be able to implement any social login, whether that's Twitter, a GitHub, Facebook, Google, or anything else. Now this is not all. In this of the course, we have recently introduced the code sandboxes. Right into the application or the website itself, you will be able to see a VS Code-like environment so that you can check out your version of the code with our version of the code right inside the website. These code sandboxes will help you to understand and compare your code with our code much more easily. Not only that, if you still face any of the problem or issues, our amazing team, our engineers are always ready to help you out. Just post your questions and we have an active and amazing team so that we can help you to understand the code as well as help you in the journey to become a developer. Once you're all done with the course, you can move on to the exam section, take an exam and get your certification as well. Now moving on to the section, what are the prerequisites for this course? Now I expect that you are familiarized with the basic concept of JavaScript in this course. JavaScript basic concepts like loops, functions, variables, how to use the loops, how to declare the classes, and simply basics like that. If you have taken up my JavaScript series on YouTube or somebody else's course on the JavaScript, you are absolutely ready for this course. Obviously, in this course, we are going to use things like Express, Mongoose, and MongoDB. Obviously, we are going to do that, but the goal is not to just use them. The goal is to understand them so that instead of Express, something else comes in, how to read properly their documentation and implement those features. We are going to massively read the documentation and I'll walk you through so that how you can read the documentation of any library. Now coming to your very favorite section, what is the pricing of this course? Now if you are a member of Learn Code Online Pro, you don't have to pay anything. This course is already added to the library and you can access it all for free with the subscription. And in case you are not a member of Learn Code Online Pro, then still you can buy this course as a standalone course at just 399 rupees, which is around $5. Now, in order to make sure that we provide the amazing quality in the content, video, and the audio, and provide the amazing support, as of now, we are keeping it as $399, but in the future, we might have to increase the price a little bit so that only serious learner can walk in. With no advertisement, no distraction, this is a pure, focused, and guided learning so that you can save your time and become an absolute pro backend developer. The course is massive, absolutely amazing, with the pro-grade quality in both audio and video and the content. You can check out some of the free previews and the course is available right now. So go ahead, check out some of the free previews of the course, check out the course quality, and once you are happy, I'm pretty sure that we are gonna catch up inside the course. <laughs>